Week 12 sits and starts, last minute trades, and the final bye week of the season. Happy Josh Gordon week. This is Keepers. Welcome to Keepers, I'm your host Matt Ufford and the only thing I hate more than child abuse is Roger Goodell using it to repair the NFL's image. That guy, man, ugh, I've eaten sardines with thicker spines. Oh, you want me to talk about fantasy football? Fine, let's dive in. Start Charles Clay. With 17 catches on 23 targets since week nine, Clay is clicking well with Ryan Tannehill, whose risk-averse style should lead him to avoiding Denver's great starting corners and trying to find Clay in the middle of the field. Sit Mark Ingram. The Saints always light up the Superdome with fireworks in prime time, and Sean Payton will want to attack Baltimore's beleaguered secondary. Sure beats running into the brick wall that is Baltimore's top five rush defense. Start Larry Donnell. The Cowboys have had trouble containing tight ends this year, including the first matchup between these two teams when Donnell caught all seven of his targets for 90 yards. He looks primed for another good outing, especially if Orlando McLean is limited. Sit Matt Ryan. Ryan's really only played well this year in games against the dumpster fire of medical waste that passes for the NFC South. And this week he gets a surging Browns D that allows a league low passer rating of just 74.1. Should be a rough day at the office for Matty Ice. Start Colin Kaepernick. Washington is in complete disarray and ripe for the picking by opposing QBs as we saw last Sunday against lowly Tampa Bay. Only three teams have allowed more passing touchdowns and the Skins week seven pick of Charlie Whitehurst is their only interception in their last six games. So thanks Charlie Whitehurst, somebody has to be the worst quarterback in the league. Sit the Ravens defense, their secondary is in lousy shape since the injury to Jimmy Smith and while Zach Mettenberger couldn't exploit that in the Ravens last game, Drew Brees can and will. Even without Brandon Cooks, New Orleans should generate plenty of big plays through the air on Monday night. Start Andrew Hawkins in Atlanta. The Falcons allow almost 300 passing yards per game this year and now they'll be even worse after starting corner Robert Alford broke his wrist. With Desmond Trufant and safety help focused on Josh Gordon, Hawkins should see his share of open looks. Sit Delaney Walker, even if he returns from his week 10 concussion, he'll be facing an Eagles defense that's allowed only one touchdown to tight ends all year. Consider that the Titans are 31st in total offense, and there isn't much reason for optimism here. Last week's episode featured some passable start-sit advice coupled with some eh, embarrassing misses. For example, I was writing my bold calls to start Malcolm Floyd and sit Sammy Watkins, but I also said to sit Michael Floyd and Eddie Lacy, who both scored two touchdowns. Stupid, useless, two-catch Michael Floyd. Saving grace, someone told you to buy low on Kenny Britt mere days before he went off for 128 yards and a touchdown. Come on, nobody tells you to buy low on Kenny Britt. Except this guy, stupid like a fox. Last trading block of the year, folks. With most trade deadlines upon us, this segment will be replaced next week with the weather report to accommodate the possibility of snow football. Snow football, the only thing that could give LaShawn McCoy and Cordero Patterson fantasy value this year. Buy low on Russell Wilson. Wilson's passing numbers are lousy this year, but he more than makes up for that with his legs. He has more rushing yards than Eddie Lacy and Gio Bernard, and he's on track to flirt with 1,000 yards for the season. With four scores on the ground as well, he's a far greater fantasy value than his passing stats suggest. Sell on Martellus Bennett. That's great that Alshon Jeffrey and Brandon Marshall are finally producing, but the downside is that Bennett is seeing the ball way less. He's only scored once in the Bears' last seven games, which matches up with Chicago's big wideouts averaging double-digit targets since week seven. Buy low on Kenny Stills. Right now, he's only owned in about 25% of leagues, but he's quietly had a solid run the last five games, and he'll take on a bigger role in the Saints offense with Brandon Cooks out of the lineup. He's a nice plug and play in deeper leagues. Sell high on Roddy White. His recent run of success has been against the NFC South competition and a depleted Ravens secondary. With Cleveland, Arizona, Green Bay, and Pittsburgh as the next four teams on Atlanta's schedule, it won't be nearly as easy for White to cause damage. Hire Ryan Mallett and fire Robert Griffin III. Mallett played well in his first career start in Cleveland versus a Browns team that shuts down quarterbacks as well as any other team. With a notch on his belt and some cupcake games around the corner, he'll be a strong pickup. As for Griffin, his first year under Jay Gruden has been a disaster, and since his return from injury, they've lost both games against bad teams. We've still got time this season for two more RG3 benchings and another round each of Colt McCoy and Kirk Cousins. Mmm. 
If there's a German word for watching this team, it's probably dysfunction Freude. Hire Isaiah Crowell and fire Darren McFadden. The running back roulette in Cleveland looks like it will finally settle on Crowell after he got the start and played two thirds of their offensive snaps. Terrence West will still get some reps, but Crowell's 16 touches for 91 yards last week and 4.6 yards per carry on the year suggests that he's the man. As for Darren McFadden, stick a fork in him. He's been mediocre all year, but he's really taken it to another level since week nine with just 55 yards on his 28 carries and no scores. And let me tell you, it's not easy to find a new level of mediocrity. I should know. That is all for week 12 of Keepers. Happy Josh Gordon week, and my condolences to everyone who thought Ahmad Bradshaw could go a full season without injury. Set your lineups. See you next week.